Somali Americans living in Minnesota say the attack is detrimental to their community. They held a news conference in St. Cloud this afternoon saying that they cannot confirm the incident was an act of terrorism and that any violence should not be tolerated. Kate Raditz continues our team coverage in St. Cloud where Muslim leaders are worried the actions of one will be mistaken for all. For members of the Somali American community, Saturday's attack at the Crossroads Center Mall is devastating. But I'm also speaking for my family, people that call this place home, my two children. I, I want to say we are really not in, in, in agreement about what happened. There is no excuse for violence. Council on American Islamic Relations Director Jelani Hussein said the community is saddened for the victims' families. This is an act of an individual. And we want our community to realize this fact. Community members are also fearful of retaliation in a town they say has faced prevalent racism against Somali Americans. At a press conference, several speakers said ISIS has no part in their faith. We understand in St. Cloud there is more anti-Muslim organizing and we hope that they do not use this incident as a way to continue to polarize divide and spread fear in our communities. While the community is in shock following the attack, they kept the focus on healing rather than violence. We cannot at this time take the hate, take over us. Let's unite as one Minnesota. The Crossroads Center Mall remains closed tonight, but is expected to reopen Monday morning. Leaders of the Somali American community say their thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. In St. Cloud, Kate Raditz, WCCO 4 News. Well, this afternoon, Governor Dayton released a statement saying, in part, I am appalled at the terrible attacks on innocent Minnesotans in St. Cloud last night. He said he is deeply grateful to Officer Falconer for responding to the attack. Governor Dayton is planning to visit St. Cloud tomorrow. Stay with WCCO for continuing coverage of the mall attack. We will have the latest online and on our news starting at 4.30 a.m.